Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, working on a tune on my uh, Southwest uh, 4910. Uh, testing and tuning it in this great big oak and stuff. Uh, it's just an out of the box chain. Uh, nothing special. It's got, I don't know, probably, I don't know, 25, 30 cuts on it. Uh, uh, when I cut that cherry and stuff up out in the woods, she was still on the rich side there. I decided to wick it up there a little bit, and I figured I'd throw a tag. I haven't thrown a tack on it yet, but uh, she sure sounds like she's going up there. So let's tack it and see where she's at, and then I'll do a few test cuts. What do you guys think of that? But uh, I can go a little, I can go a little more. I just, I don't, I don't want to push my limit there and have it pop on me like that 660 did. Uh, she's probably uh, when I had it dynoed, she was at 6.1 horse, and she was on the fat side there. I have a sneaky suspicion she's a wee bit more than that now. But uh, th this stuff is. Uh, you know rock hard seasoned oak uh, and uh, nothing nothing special about that chain it is just just an out-of-the-box chain rakers haven't been touched uh, looks like I might be I'm not feeling any oil uh, residue on there I might have just did them cuts with no dang bar oil Huh, yeah. She's bone dry, guys. Awesome. That's good on my bar. So, I just did them two cuts. That's why that thing's so hot. Uh, just did them two cuts, bone dry, no bar oil. Uh, I bet she'd pick up a little bit with some lube. So, but, uh, that is my warm firewood saw build and this saw meets all the criteria for the firewood uh build i i typically don't run spark arresters in most of my firewood saws but uh so yeah uh there it is what do you guys think of that baby um I don't think it's going to do real well there with me running it, that's for sure. I tend to fudge up on cookies and my reaction time is about like a turtle. And not a snapping turtle either. 
more like a tortoise so uh yeah but there's my that's my 50 cc entry right there and i have a done up chain where uh she's even uh more more lethal uh i've got a hand filed one of these that's probably i don't know three quarters of a second faster than this one and uh in the size stuff that we were testing and then i have a round filed chain that i spent hours on uh that's a full second and a half faster than my hand filed one that's faster than this uh, i haven't made this she's sporting an eight pin uh if i run my uh extremely round filed uh chain uh that pulls down quite a bit harder i might actually drop this back to a seven pin with that chain i haven't made up my mind i don't know if i'm gonna run that chain or i might uh i might just run all out of the box chains on all my stuff just to take the chain out of the equation that way people can get an idea for the saw um I'm not really going there to compete. I'm going there to, to hang out and, with my buddies and stuff. But, uh, you know, for you viewers and stuff that are, are going there, uh, I'll be able to get to meet you guys. And after everything's all over and it's a more uh, relaxed environment, uh, you guys will be able to test out my, my saws uh, for yourself, you know. Give them a go and see how they, see how they run or whatever. Uh, this one... Uh, I probably won't never sell. I'm very attached to this saw. Put a lot of work into it. Uh, and it's a pretty gnarly saw, but uh, I don't know. You guys just saw it rip through some hard-ass oak. Let me know what you guys think. You guys take it easy and have a good one.